Today we celebrate. No, not because our daughters just had a birthday. They were born on the same day, two years apart. We totally planned that, by the way, because who wants to have to throw two kids' birthday parties per year? Nonsense. We celebrate because hunting season has ended and Lincoln can resume his salt burn style dances in the forest without fear of getting shot. If you haven't seen the movie, you might not understand this reference. Perhaps that's for the best. But these happy days were short-lived because we have a problem. The walls around our garden likely date back to the 17th or 18th centuries with a few repairs made here and there over time. The lime mortar has all but disintegrated, leaving the wall susceptible to collapse due to the rain and high winds. A small chunk toppled last year, and since we've had so much rain, more has come down recently. We are worried. Over the years, the trees have been left to self-seed and grow around the perimeter of the garden, limiting access to sun and creating an extremely damp environment. We've been slowly working to remove trees around the wall. Last season, we removed a good chunk of them, helping to dry that wall out. We are, I think it's nine days away from spring, and we've been just trying to get as much done before trees start to bloom and mm -hmm. birds nest and everything. Right. There's still a ton to do. Last week, we had someone come out to trim trees around the garden and property. First up, trimming the wisteria that has grown on one of our cottages, damaging some slates, stone, and gutters. So this is all the wisteria, and I mean, this is obviously one of our roof tiles, slates. It's just completely attacked it. It's, it's grown through it, and I'm not sure where this came from, but, and it cracked the, uh, the chimney as well. While trimming the wisteria, a barn owl flew out of the chimney. We wanted to make sure there wasn't a nest before we covered the chimney up with some slate. So we're just double checking that there aren't any more owls in the cottage. Oh, you're laughing at me. Owls are protected, by the way, so you can't mess with them or their nests. And the average barn owl lives to about four years, so they don't live that long. Oh, I thought they lived longer than that. I think they, I was reading the, the oldest recorded owl was, barn owl was 15. Sounds like you went down a rabbit hole. I did. I, <laughs> listen, I, I get very concerned about the wildlife. And they need to be treated properly. Yeah. I'll put the phone down and help you. He said he has it, so. <laughs> I'll help anyway. We are cleaning up owl pellets, not owl poop. Bird droppings are very dangerous, but pellets are the hard and regurgitated remains of the owl's prey from the last 24 hours. They often contain fur, teeth, and insect parts. You can even buy sterilized owl pellets online to study. We want to look up the chimney to make sure there's nothing there, because the owl has been clearly hanging out up in the chimney. 
and we put some slate on top so now he you know it can't get back down but I wanted to make sure there weren't any babies here because now's the time that they can have their young Is it? Yeah. Any furniture or anything up there? No, I don't, I don't see it's anything. Empty. That's a shame. This is broken. Hmm. It's so cool up here. So the roof is new, right? Well, like less than 20 years. taking the cherry picker over here just to trim some branches above the wall. Eventually all these trees will come down, but now we're just going to trim them. The next step is try to uh, remove some of this ivy that's growing up the wall, but we need to access it from the other side. Yeah, not too much to do. <laughs> this will come out and do together. But, um, yeah. I think we have maybe three trailerfuls, maybe two, maybe three of the brush. We're just going to bring this into our orchard and dump it because there will be a big uh, bonfire in there soon once the weather dries up. Are we sacrificing anyone that night? No volunteers. No. Let us know.
This must have just come down. You can tell by the soil. So how many apple trees do we have down now? It's this one. Wow, look at this. This is not what we wanted to do at the end of a long day, <laughs> yeah. but it's supposed to rain tomorrow and uh, the wall is in danger of getting worse. So we got this tarp and we're going to try to put it over the wall. Lincoln just suggested uh, we use the man who has the cherry picker today. It's almost the end of the day, so we might as well. Um, you think that's enough? Big enough for the. Well, that was the biggest one to have. Yeah. It's wide enough to cover the area, and that it'll be hanging down on each side. And we just have to. We need some rope or something. Use the eyelets. Here I am in front of my wall of doom. I'm really bummed out about this portion of the wall collapsing. What has to be done temporarily is I need to get out here with my big can of squirty foam. In any big gaps, squirt the foam in so that it just sort of holds the wall together. You won't be able to see the foam, it'll just sort of be in there. And then once we're ready to um, get the lime mortar in there it just it just strengthens the wall so that's my job <laughs> it's just what it what what's going to have to be done just to make sure we don't have any more of the wall collapse once the weather's warmer we can remove the tarp and then rebuild that portion of the wall get that done it's something we need to learn how to do anyway we have a friend who said he could teach us how to do it as far as uh, putting the lime mortar around the rest of, of the perimeter, I don't know if we'll have time or we might have to just hire somebody and just get it done. We do not want to lose these beautiful walls. So in the next few days, it's going to be dry. So I'm going to get my can of squirty foam and my ladder and I'll be busy. And um, I've never used the foam outside. It's, it's indoor, outdoor use. I use it inside um, if you have any really large cracks in the plaster. Um, you wet it, add the foam, and then you can plaster right over it. And it just it strengthens everything up. It's a really great technique. Yeah, so that's, that's my fun times. You're so cute. 
We still have a good deal to clean up and have a professional tree man coming in a few weeks to take care of some larger, more dangerous trees for us. A big thank you to everybody out there. We got um, a lot of nice comments on our last vlog. Yes. I think we, it's like right now it's over 1,100 comments. It took a very long time to read. And have I did you read, read them. You've, yeah, you've read yeah. each. I haven't yeah. had time to read all of them. I will, but um, thank you for supporting our channel. It really, yes, it yes. makes us feel good that people... At least a thousand people. <laughs> at least 1,100 people. <laughs> <laughs> like us. But uh, yeah, thanks. So that was, that was nice. I couldn't hear Lincoln in this bit, so I'll translate. Our neighbor farmer had a fir tree fall on his land and offered it to us. He cut us four meter sections so we can make small support beams for our cottage project. The idea is maybe we go by the beams. Right from the sawmill. And when he, uh, when he delivers them, they can pick these up and take them back. And cut them up more yeah. The yeah, so this will save us a ton of money yeah. because wood is extremely expensive. Uh, so we have like four big sections. So a friend of ours had some wood cut up at that sawmill, and what? How much did he say it cost to cut a log up this he size? He said it was about this, about four meters, and he cut it into fifty by fifty, which is smaller. That's a lot more cuts, and he charged him seventy euro. Seventy euro. That's yeah. incredible. And he brought the log with him. Well, so. yeah. Yes. So <laughs> that's that's quite a bargain. But we'll have yeah, to see how much yeah. they charge for pickup. Count the rings? How I many? Could, I could. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.